Om Shanti and today we are here with 28th of May's Godly Blessing where Supreme Father wants us to become a jewel of contentment. What is the method? How do we do that? Is what is we are going to explore over here. So the heading goes like this. May you be a jewel of contentment with happiness in your heart and fly in the plane. Now which plane is this? Fly in the plane. That means on a very high stage of mental stage of everyone's good wishes fly in the plane of everyone's good wishes so a jewel of contentment is someone who is content with himself that's very important and i can be content with myself only when i'm doing the right karmas and getting the right results with service the way we are serving others and with everyone else to receive the fruit of contentment by doing tapasya is the success of that tapasya. A jewel of contentment is someone whose heart is constantly happy. Now you will ask, how can somebody be constantly happy? So God says over here, happiness means that both the heart and the head are both constantly in a state of rest. That's the state of happiness. Happiness doesn't mean that you're excited, you're joyous, you're shouting, you're screaming and you are not in your complete senses and calmness. No. God says you're in a state of rest, in a state of happiness and comfort. So the state of rest is for both the head and the heart. When you're in a state of rest for both the head and the heart, that's the time you are actually happy. Think about it deeply. Such jewels of contentment will experience themselves to be flying in the plane of everyone's good wishes. And when you are happy because your mind and your head are both in rest, you're not worrying, you're not thinking too much. That means your mind and your heart is at rest. That's the time that others will be giving you good wishes. So, if you're someone who is at unrest, you're pushing people around, you're making people do things by force, or you are having desires and you're not content with them, and you're overthinking about things, that's the time you'll meet people and those people will not be content with you. So the blessings will not be coming to us or the good wishes of everybody else will not be coming to us. So once we are happy, then the happiness flows to others and good wishes come our way. Blessings come our way. And that's the only method to remain content with ourselves, with service and also with everyone else. How do you achieve this state is what we learn in Brahma Kumaris, Godly Spiritual University in the seven-day course. You too can come and learn this beautiful secret. With this Om Shanti.